Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh A'udhu billahi minasyaitanirrojim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wabihi nasta'inu ala umuri dunya wa din Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya'i wal mursalin Sayyidina wa maulana Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'du Al-Narabal Murabi Ruhina Al-Alimul Alamah Sahibul Karamah wal Fadilah Kiai Haji Khalil Ashari His wife and his family As the leader of Darul Mutakin Islamic College That he hoped his pride, knowledge and his life Honorable Simbah Nyai Kostolani from Surabaya and Magelang that we hope this pride and his bless. Honorable Simbah Nyai Marwiyah Zainuddin that we hope this pride and his bless. Honorable Kiai Haji Muhammad Abdul Mufid Khalil his wife and his family that we hope this pride, knowledge and his bless. Honorable Kiai Haji Muhammad Abdul Hakim Khalil SAG from Kajian Tembarak Temanggung, as leader of Sunan Pembuat Islamic College, that we hope his pride, knowledge, and his bless. Honorable Alim Ulama, that we can mention one by one. Honorable parents of students. Honorable the big family of Dalam Mutakin Islamic College, graduated, and the visitors, and I love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, from this good opportunity, I would like to speak in English with the topic Nadatul Ulama Generation. First of all, let's give our highest price to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala because this place and this garden, so we can meet face to face without any serious problems. Therefore, let's say tahmi together. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. Let's give our regard to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That bring us from the Jahiliya era to Islamic era. Our honorable ladies and gentlemen. When we talk about struggle, it means struggle for religion. That is Islam, and Islam is meant Ahlul Sunnah wal Jamaah. Because what Allah said in Al Quran, in Dina Adzallahi al Islam. There is no religion which is stated by Allah, but Islam. The word Islam in Al Quran is still general, and it has been explained by our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who said, "Al sarakum antas kunu bubuhat al jannah, fal zamu sunnah wal jamaah." If we want to be happy and want to stay in heaven, our Prophet has taught us to hold alus sunnah wal jamaah. Until the end of our life, we know that Nahdlatul Ulama is the biggest Islamic organization in Indonesia that is trusted and able to deliver the ideology and able to practice the commandments of Alus Sunnah Wal Jamaah entirely and consequently. Our honourable ladies and gentlemen and all my dear friends, it's true. That Nahdlatul Ulama is the biggest Islamic organization in Indonesia. However, what is the benefit of the quantity of that quality? Nahdlatul Ulama is really big, but it's too marginalized. There are many people from Nahdlatul Ulama who are unseen because of its minimum human resources. That's why, from this good opportunity, I would like to invite all Nadian members to stand and unite or side by side and unite our concepts and you're willing to face the various challenges that will weaken and file our commitments and implementation of al Sunnah Wal Jamaah. Let's pass our valuable lives and golden opportunity wisely, not in a useless or a meaningless way. Study again and again when for just the change and later on you will be a useful man. Keep crying when you are still young and you will laugh when your old age comes. We know that we are living in modern era and we are facing the challenge that we should go with as soon as possible. The challenge will really be the highest range for Nadatul Ulama and Alusunawal Jamaah in the future. The challenge 
are the internal and the outside challenge. The first is the internal challenge. What I mean is the challenge that comes out from Nadat Ulama itself. For in case speaking, that there are many people from Nadat Ulama who are in Sabisai knowledge or don't have knowledge at all about Ahlu Sunnah Wal Jamaah. They perform and implement all Nadat Ulama rituals traditionally such as Tahlil or visiting cemetery without knowing the teenage or the praying people. We risk Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his side. Qul hal yastawil ladhina la ya'lamuna wal ladhina la ya'lamun. There is of course big difference between people who have knowledge about their job and those who work without having the knowledge. The second is the outside challenge. As we know, that there are many Islamic organizations that are growing very fast in Indonesia lately. Some of them had different view or ideology which is contrary to Nadatul Ulama. As they say that, visiting cemetery is something forbidden and the prior who are still alive will not reach that. From that case, I would say that all Nadatul Ulama generations should be able to face and to cope with the two challenges. The clue is by providing ourselves with religion and knowledge, especially about Ahlu Sunnah Wal Jamaah. If we have perfect knowledge about Ahlu Sunnah Wal Jamaah, we will be able to protect us and not the ulama, and not the ulama from the doctrine and implementations that will make destruction on the doctrine and implementation of Ahlu Sunnah Wal Jamaah in the, in the future. That's why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, the clue of being happiness at any time is mastering knowledge and the beneficial knowledge is Islam which is Ahlu Sunnah Wal Jamaah. From that point, all teenagers or juveniles of Nadatul Ulama, wherever they are, must really be ready for mastering knowledge and technology as well as a vision and skills in order to be able and to continue and to hold the realistic of our Muslim scholar and founding father's struggle. They have struggled hard accompanied by cheer and blood to release, initiate and build Nadatul Ulama until the end of time. Hey young ladies and young men of Nadatul Ulama, look at Nabi Yubba Yusuf alaihi salatu wassalam. Learn and follow his good behavior. Yusuf bin Yaakov was the most sorrowful man when he was young. However, he was finally happy and glorious because of his patience and his resolutions. He was thrown into a well by his own brothers and he was found by Musafir, the man made his slave, and then he was put in a low price. Fortunately, he was sponsored by King Ketsper from Egypt and his wife, Zulaiha. In short, from day to day, month to month, year to year, his face at last becoming better and better. Finally, he became a wealthy king with beautiful wife, Zulaiha. Yusuf said, Robbi got a titan in our mouth. My God, you have given me a part of a kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen and all my dear friends, from this short story about Yusuf, I would invite you all to follow his good behavior. We, teenagers, are the candidates of the next generation that our parents desire. Make the old organization of Nadatul Ulama, a well of Jala Dunda or Kawah Chandra di Muka that will try and as a strong event, be resolute and match yourself. After we are trained in the well, we will really be upright and ready to bring Nadatul Ulama with the commandments. They will stand strongly at the big rock in the sea and never be shaken by a big wave or storm that hit them. So, whoever we are, if we have silently adhere to our religion, our movement will be useful and good for other surrounding people. We can be technocrats, but we must adhere to God. We can be authorities, but give color to our government with being far away from manipulations and corruption. We know when we watch and listen to the news on TV that there are many leaders of our country who are involved in corruption cases. They were not fool people, but they are very smart. But why? Just because of money, they were involved in corruption cases? 
the problem is because there were faithless, less of good morals, and less of religion knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Jahidu fisabirilah, walatulku bi'aidikum bila tahluka. Struggle and struggle forever on the way of God, and never make any damage on the earth. We wish that Indonesia would immediately recover from illness by applying our knowledge and never destroy Indonesia using our foolishness. Ladies and gentlemen and all my dear friends, that are what I wish for Nadatul Ulama and beloved Indonesia. Please apologize for the mistakes. Thank you for everything. See you next time. Halal Allah wa'iyatum ajma'il. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.